I'm gonna get destroyed on these hills because they are steep. It's gonna be fun. Hey guys, welcome to week five, and this week we are back at it, going for it hard. Recovery week is done, I'm feeling good, I'm ready to go, and we're gonna smash out some marbles this week. It's gonna be really good. Today, I have a gym session to do, which is legs and chest and try, and then tonight, I am meeting up with a mate Dean to do some filming. That's going to be really cool. So this is going to be the first time running where someone else is filming me. So we're going to pick a spot and head out and hopefully just do a load of filming of me running, getting sweaty, just really sort of killing myself on probably some hills and that'd be really good. I need to introduce some sprint training anyway so that's going to be really good and a really good opportunity to get loads of stuff so I'm going to show you as much of that as I possibly can hopefully I'm going to get some really good footage that you guys will enjoy and it will be interesting and fun to watch. This week I've got my first ultra marathon which is going to be good ultra marathon because basically it's just going to be 28 miles I like the way I said just going to be 28 miles. It's going to be 28 miles, which technically is an ultra marathon because anything over marathon distance is classed as an ultra marathon. But in my head, I kind of don't really count this one until I get to about 50 kilometers, which is 31 miles. I'm not really counting it as I've done an ultra mile. I'm gonna get my gym session done and then I will see you in a bit. Whew, so that is my first run of the day done and my gym session done. I did a couple of extra reps on the squats. I did a whole extra set of bench. So yeah, really happy. And then I've just run 5K and hit a great time. I did it in 20 minutes, three seconds, I think. Um, so yeah, that's absolutely wicked. Let's just have a quick look at that. Yeah, 20, uh, 20 minutes, three seconds, which is my fir third fastest 5K. So that's averaging 628 per mile. And in that there was 148 feet of elevation, which is not loads, it's a fairly flat one which is good, it's a really good route. It's quite hot out there, but it's a little bit windy, so it wasn't too bad. But yeah, really good run, I'm really happy with that. And now I'm really excited for tonight, because my legs feel great. I'm gonna go do some recovery, a lot of foam rolling, I think, and then an ice bath, uh, and get that in, make sure I get some really good food in me, loads of nutrients, and then I should be pretty, like, firing pretty well for tonight. Right, I am super excited, because I'm about to go get absolutely destroyed, running some hills, and get some wicked footage with Dean. I'm really excited for this. My legs are probably gonna kill at the end of it, but who cares, it's gonna be absolutely wicked. I will see you up there. Sweet, and we are up the top of the hill. It is absolutely mega up here. The view is absolutely insane. I don't know if you can see that. Um, Dean is about, and he is gonna do a load of filming, and it's just gonna be absolutely wicked. I'm gonna get destroyed on these hills because they are steep. It's gonna be fun. Well, that was absolute mega fun. Dean was scooting about on his skateboard like an absolute bad man following me. It was so cool. We tried some stupid things. He was sitting on it, following, trying to get shots on my feet. I've been running around. I've been running up this mega hill, which is steep and killing my legs. It's uh, probably run about four or five miles, which is wicked. So that's a little bit extra training. Yeah, it's just been absolutely sick up here. I've, <laughs> I've massively enjoyed it. This has been so cool just to mess around and get some really good footage and hopefully put together an amazing video to uh, really show off this this idea, this, this idea and for the charity and the stupid hundred miles I'm trying to run. I'm so excited now to get going and just absolutely smash this. Dean scooted off, which is cool. And now I'm up here on my own and the clouds are rolling in. The clouds are rolling in. It's pretty cold. It's a bit ominous. It's a bit creepy. So I'm going to put the camera away and I'm going to get back before I scare myself to death from these hills. 
We've all watched horror movies, right? If I'm gonna die, this will be where I die, isn't it? <laughs> cool, I will see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching. Right, it's Tuesday evening already. It's been an absolute mental day today. Work has just gone a bit nuts. Uh, I thought I haven't done absolutely anything, which is a bit mad, but there we go. It's absolutely chucking it down outside. I'm meant to go in the gym and do a run. I'm knackered today. just feel really tired, so I'm just gonna sack the gym off. Uh, I could do one today, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go for a run now. So I'm gonna do seven miles in the, in the pouring rain. Cool. That's going to be my own check-in for today, so I will see you tomorrow, guys. I am soaked after that one. Um, yeah, that, I felt a bit rubbish halfway through, because I was tired and my legs felt a bit heavy, but towards the end I started to feel better, actually. I sort of got a bit of a second wind. I'm really glad I went now. That was seven miles on the nose, 7.41 per mile. Uh, it took me 53 minutes, 50 seconds. Burn nearly 800 calories, which is wicked. I love burning calories. I will uh, catch up with you tomorrow for a nice long run. It'll be the first run with the uh, the vest as well, the uh, the salmon pack with the water and so I can put food in it and everything like that. So that's good. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, let's just see how it is to run in. See if it helps performance because I'll be more hydrated and have more fuel for the entire run. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for my first ever ultra marathon. Cheers, guys. It's long run day. Oh yes. I'm going to run in about two hours. It's currently 12 o'clock, so I'm going to start at about two. So first things first, I'm going to get some really good food in me. That's going to go down well. Lots of carbs. I'm looking forward to this. And then I'm going to go run 28 miles. I'll see you in a bit. We got a windows down. Driving down the 405, sing along to the radio. Mm -mm. We're gonna make it someday. Nothing's gonna get in our way. We will be the biggest band in town. Mm -mm. Round and round the world we'll go, putting on the greatest show. So make sure that you don't miss out, just be there. We're taking our shot, bring what you got. We're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage. We'll right, so it's time to run 28 miles. Great fun. So this is going to be my longest run ever. Never run this far before. I suppose it's only 1.8 miles further than the marathon, so hopefully it won't be too bad. I think mental game is going to be uh, tough here, but that's, uh, we're going to see, aren't we? It is just started raining, of course. It's long run day, isn't it? That means rain. But this is going to be my first run with the pack, so let's just quickly run through what I'm putting in it. So here's the pack. Uh, I've got two of these 500ml water bottles in it, the soft ones. So I'm carrying a litre of water with me. I'm going to stick the gimbal in the back. My asthma pump is going to go in here as well. Also an extra long sleeve top in case I get absolutely soaked. So I can put that on. It's not waterproof. I don't have any waterproof running gear. That's weird, isn't it? I live in the UK and I don't have any waterproof running gear. Two science and sport gels. This little phone charger thing. So that I can listen to as much music as I want and keep my phone alive in case I in case I die or something, I have to phone home. Obviously my phone and a lead. And my headphones as well. I'll go in there. And that will be it. So let's go get ready to run. Cool. Ready to go. Still chucking it down. I'm gonna foam roll, stretch. And then the south it, 28 miles.
built, so I am a quarter of the way in. Feeling really good, the pack is absolutely amazing, I'm loving it. I've just picked a completely new route that I've never run before, so that's really cool. Yeah, absolutely loving it. I'm gonna uh, see you halfway. Cheers, guys. So, unfortunately, my watch died. Uh, so it died at 25.96 miles. I'm pretty sure that was what it was at. Like, that might not be absolutely correct, but it was definitely over 25.9. I'm sure it was. So what I've done is I've done the last two miles well, with my phone and Strava. Wicked, so it is Thursday and my legs are feeling great after yesterday's long run. I was so happy with that run. 28 miles was ridiculous, that was just absolutely awesome. I clubbed the two exercises together on Strava because obviously the watch died and in total I did 28.05 miles and it took me 3 hours 56 minutes and I burned like 2,800 calories which is mad because obviously you burn a little bit more calories if you add more weight so with the pack because I had the gimbal in the back plus that extra foam charger plus the water and everything like that I added probably a few kilos so because I'm carrying that extra weight I just burn a few extra calories per hour <laughs> so that was absolutely wicked so I could eat like a tank last night so I demolished an entire fruit and nut chocolate bar one of the big ones yeah a massive one. I do all this run in, but then I'll also smash a massive dairy milk. Yeah. So now I'm going to jump in the gym and I've got a deadlift and sort of posture session to do. So that would be absolutely wicked. That's going to probably take about 40 minutes. Then I'm going to hop in the car and head over to do a little bit more filming with Dean. And that's going to be absolutely wicked. And that will be today done. So I will catch up with you guys later on. Cheers. Gym is done. Let's go do some filming. It's uh, Friday morning, and I've just overslept by two hours. Whoops. Yeah, completely missed my run. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, figure out how to restructure the day to fit it all in. The plan was to run 12 miles early this morning to leave at like five to seven, um, and get back and be ready to like do some work at nine, and then do a gym session. Uh, just after five when I finish work but that's not gonna work now um, because it's currently like 10 to 9 <laughs> so it's gonna be rush get into work hopefully do gym session at lunch then run after work I think I don't know I'll work it out I'll talk to you once I've figured it all out <laughs> just guys see you later right it is five o'clock I haven't been in the gym yet I need to get in the gym as quick as possible and then run 12 miles I'm probably gonna do it quicker than I should just to cut down the time it's been mental I didn't get to go in the gym at lunch which is really annoying it's just been a mad day it's been a mad week to be honest it's absolutely mental so I'm just gonna put the camera down and go and get it done because yeah it's, it's got to get done otherwise nothing's gonna happen nothing there's gonna be no video tomorrow there's gonna be absolutely nothing so yeah see you later guys I'll see you tomorrow when I pick up the camera again hopefully good morning it is Saturday and it's quite early today uh, earlier than usual for me so I got up at about 10 past 5, which is wicked. I've just been making some snacks for a run because I'm going for a coastal path run today, which is going to be absolutely wicked. We're probably going to do somewhere about 10 to 12 miles. Really depends, nice and slow. The coastal path will slow us down anyway because the terrain's a bit rough and there's a lot of sort of up and down on it. So that's just going to keep us slow. It'll be a good plod. So yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, I didn't pick up the camera after yesterday's run, so yesterday I did 12 miles, I averaged 7.17 per mile, which I was really happy with. I was thinking about pushing for a half marathon to get my half marathon PB, but I just didn't bother, I was a bit pushed for time, that's why I didn't pick up the camera as well. Unfortunately I think I had my right shoe too tight because I've got a bit of bruising across the top of my foot, so that's going to need to be monitored today. But apart from that, everything feels really good. My legs feel great. It's literally just my foot. I can just feel it. It just niggles, 
which is really annoying. So I'm gonna uh, put a load of um, Arnica on that, which is like an, an anti-inflammatory gel. Uh, and that's, that's about it. And I'm just gonna monitor it throughout today, make sure my shoe is really loose. Uh, I'm probably gonna run in my old trainers because I don't wanna get my on running ones like absolutely caked in mud from the coast path. But yeah, that's about it. So I'll probably catch up with you when I'm back from that run, just guys. The further we move on from all those yesterdays, happiness gets nearer. The light that we see closing in so fast ahead, it's hope, it's getting clearer. The more I think of all the tough times we survived, the more it makes me smile. If nothing's broken us, yeah, nothing ever will. Cause dreams are hard to kill. So it is the end of Saturday. It's been a really good day. Proper early one this morning. I got out of bed at like five past five, which was absolutely wicked. Uh, got on the flapjack making, which was cool. Absolutely demolished all of those today when I went for the trail run, which was really good. So that's kind of my first experience of running the coastal path. I've walked bits of the coastal path before, which is cool, but never really run it. So that was really good. I, I really enjoyed it. The only problem with it was is that I don't have any trail shoes, so I just ran in my old road shoes, which probably wasn't great, it was slippy and yeah, it wasn't wonderful. Also, my foot is a bit bruised and it was a bit sore, and I think it's just from overuse from my um, normal trainers, because basically I just worked out that I've run almost 700 miles in them now which is a bit ridiculous and they recommend like not running more than 500 in them so yeah today's been really good i posted week four i can't believe that's a month's worth of videos done i got some extra videos i've been shooting with dean this week which is really cool so they're going to be sprinkled in with the regular updates as well donation is at 415 pounds that is absolutely amazing you are all absolute legends for donating your hard-earned money it's just absolutely incredible especially at a time like this because things are so difficult with coronavirus at the moment i know people are finding it really hard yes yeah, so that's been week five I did an ultra marathon this week, how wicked is that? Yeah, it's just been absolutely wicked, absolutely amazing, I'm so excited. Which is good, it's not like wearing off, which is really cool. It's something I was really worried about is that like I'll get to these 28 mile runs and I'll be like, oh it's really wearing off, I really can't be arsed now. But that's not the case at all. I think the 28 mile run I did this week was my favourite run I've ever done. I just loved it. I just enjoyed every moment of it. It was just brilliant. I didn't really care about the time. I just went out and the whole idea was just to do the distance. I just really enjoyed it. So that's great. So hopefully that just continues and I really think it will because I'm really enjoying this at the moment. Thank you very much guys. I will see you all in week six. Week six. Amazing. Week six. See you then.